What's up, everybody? It's Joe. I'm back in with um, week 11 weigh-in. A few days late. I went to, after my workout Thursday, to film and everything just seemed to go to crap and just was having a really bad day. So I figured I'd just scrap that weigh-in and measure up and try and do it today. Got a busy day going, but um, got my workout in and just feel a little bit better today. Still... Life, like most nowadays, is just a, it's a mental challenge, and I'm going to continue to push myself to work out and get everything done. I know um, my numbers aren't getting to where I want them to be, but I'm still feeling good about everything because I can still feel my muscles, you know, not necessarily, um, I guess, you know, building up or getting larger, but um, definitely filling in more and um, getting a little bit a little bit harder you know when I work out now it's just not like it was before like this now it's just trying to mass out a little bit so I'm okay about that and getting a little bit cutter and stuff like that so still trying to keep the positive in everything that I'm doing whether the numbers are you know coming back to where I want so um let's see where we're at from um my first weigh-in before I started to last week's weigh-in and measure up. Um, I think my weight was still around 135, 140. So let's see where we're at this week. So we're still about in between about 137, 138. Really can't tell with these spring scales, but we'll go with that. So staying about the same. Eating a little bit more. Definitely doing more protein, doing double scoops, all my protein now. Um, when I do drink my protein, I want to have to mix me up a shake when I'm done here. So let's go over the numbers. Week one, I started out 35 on my chest, and I'm at 38 right now. Um, probably my biggest improvement. Biceps, 12 and a quarter. Now I'm at 13 and a half, and have been a lot of movement on that, but they've been filling in more, so I'm okay with that. The highs went from 18.5 to 19.75. If uh, weather cooperate and, you know, would have some more warm days here, I'd get out and ride my bike more and probably pump that number up a little bit more than what it has been. Calves definitely have been moving. I think part of that is I just still find it hard to um, work out my calves. I need to find a, an exercise that I can do that will work it out a little bit better that I can use. My bench here, I've used it, taking the thing off and stuff like that. It just feels weird with this, this pad's almost too thick right there for um, doing my calf raises on it. I don't know if I can find a thinner pad or maybe a um, different bar or something. Use that more. Maybe I'll just have to start doing like um, more, uh, I guess, heel raises with my squat bar and stuff like that uh, my stomach went down from a 32 to 29.5 which is pretty good starting to show a little bit more of my uh abs and stuff but just that last little bit of chub around there is really hard to get going but um definitely been pulling off more sit-ups and stuff like that i don't know maybe i'll have to get one of those one of those crazy electric shock belts to wear all the time to really get it going. I don't know. So, um, definitely feel better about my body. Have more, uh, more veins coming out, feed my muscles, I can tell. So, I guess that's a good sign, though, isn't it? Starting to get more, uh, more blood flow to them and stuff like that. So let's start out with the measure up. First thing was my chest. We'll see where we're at with it. We'll go from there. So chest is still the same, still at 38. Worked it out, but I noticed that, you know, it's not necessarily blocking up here. It's um, more of it starting to fill in through here, stuff like that, especially right here. I've never ever had anything look like skeletal at times and stuff. So it's going to stay at 38 for my uh, chest. My uh, 
Ready to school handwriting, sorry. No, today I'm gonna work out. I went feeling quite energetic, couldn't sleep last night, and was actually up pretty late. Um, really went because I couldn't sleep, but wasn't doing nothing, just wasn't ready to go to bed. Um, so I uh, lined up the weights and actually done um, more reps, lighter weights, which worked out pretty good because you know research shows it doesn't matter if you use heavy weights or light weights so let's measure the biceps today so crud. around here I can never get it the same but it looks like it's still 13.5 Definitely filling in more. Yeah. <sighs> Crud. I'm just gonna stay. It's probably 13 and a quarter today, so. I don't know, I said 13 and a quarter, it's still 13.5 because nothing's changed. I need to find a Velcro type thing like this that'll stay when I do that. Now let's check the thighs. Definitely uh, leg muscles. Legs are thinning out, but the muscles are increasing a little bit. So it's all good. I got it way up there. Down at the side, I'd start doing it right here. So they're at 19 and three quarters. So about the same still. I'm sure my calves are going to be about the same. Still kicking it the same, but starting to cut out a little bit more. Definitely on my thighs and stuff. Definitely tired. Feel like I need a nap. That's what happens when you get old. So, let's see where my stomach's at. So, at 19 and a quarter. Try and get around to 29, to be honest with you. But we'll go to 29. I said 19 and a quarter, it's 29 and a quarter. Which ain't too bad. So, um, I guess I wasn't too bad this week. Continue to try. It's been working a lot extra time at work, dealing with people and stuff. It's a mental game, dealing with what's going on in society with, with the coronavirus. Definitely find it. You know, working out, biceps definitely look okay. But, man, my, um, that shoulder muscle right there definitely is filling in pretty good. So, kind of dig that. Just wish these traps up here would fill in a little bit more, but they've definitely been filling in and my biceps. So, take everything I get, what little bit I get done. So, uh, thanks for watching. Until next time, see you guys next week.